Today we are here at the Little League World Series game. You can probably hear the cheers in the background and we are interviewing Pastor Gary Weaver who is called an uncle of one of the Little League um, teams. I'm going to admit my ignorance and whenever I heard that you were an uncle of a team, I thought, how can he be an uncle to a whole team? So can you explain that to our viewers? I can. Every Each of the 16 teams that comes here from around the world is assigned to hosts, also affectionately known as uncles. And the first thing we do is greet you on the bus and say welcome to the, this year, the 67th Annual Little League World Series. Congratulations on your regional final win. The coaches typically cry and the kids typically applaud. And from that moment, we become almost concierge of a very large uh, hotel. Whereas we're with you every waking moment, caring for all your needs from a baseball standpoint and also your practical needs. And then also caring for your parents and having a relationship with them as well. How many years have you been involved with this? I uh, jokingly say that I'm one of the new guys, so this is my 15th year. But we have uncles who have served easily 35, almost close to 40 years now. And uh, what all does that entail? Um, you say that you're with them almost every waking moment. Um, do you get to show them around the area? Our, our main focus is baseball, of course, but beyond that, we want them to have the Little League experience, which is something far beyond baseball, and it's getting to know Williamsport and getting to know the community and letting the community know them as well. It's one of the reasons I decided to do this and then thankfully was asked to do it is that it's very community but clearly you have nephews as we call them from around the world now after you do it this many years. Um, we're responsible for the fitting of uniforms for the ABC ESPN interviews uh, for, equip for the equipment that they get and then caring for their parents to make sure their parents feel comfortable here making sure the parents have ex access to their children when they want them and then when it comes to baseball we're responsible for uh, signing up scheduling uh, batting cases Ages, uh, in field practice as well as full field practice, getting them to games on time and then safely getting them after a game back on to, the, to their dorm room. So there's a lot in any given day. Uh, you said about you're involved with the parents as well, but um, when we spoke earlier, you said that one of your teams from Uganda, actually, Uganda, did not actually have very many family members here. Um, so can you explain how the United Methodists tied into that connection? You know, from time to time you'll have a team, and it's often an international team, but not always, where parents just can't be here in the way that they would want to be. Their hearts want to be here, but just because of employment or other issues, they can't be with you. Last year, my partner Frank and I hosted the team from Uganda. They were the first African team to play baseball here in the Little League World Series. And behind each of the dugouts in the stands, there is a section for VIPs, for parents and families to sit, and they had no one. And so we literally created family. We invited people from uh, Wesley United Methodist Church in Bloomsburg, my home church, and then as well as Christ Community Church in Sealings Grove, they have a long-standing history with mission work in Uganda. And so they were very excited about coming down and being a part of that family. So we really brought the United Methodist Church in to be Uganda's family last year. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, very neat. Um, what are some other ways that you think that your faith has tied into your role as an uncle of the teams? You know, all the uncles live in Williamsport or have lived here, and there's a, a multitude of different uh, professions and occupations that are represented. One year we had a gentleman who, um, uh, one of the siblings to a player had a, a tooth that was knocked out. So one of the uncles is a dentist. So we were able to, so all the uncles have kind of a specialty outside of here. And so many of the uncles will uh, call on me or at least mention that I might want to go visit a team or a player or a coach. Thankfully, those things don't happen too often. Uh, last year, we had a gentleman, a young man whose uh, uncle died while he was here and his parents had to leave before him. So kind of caring for him emotionally and spiritually. Uh, a number of years ago, I got to do a really fun thing, got to perform a wedding on Lomity Field here. Uh, the Guam coach and uh, his fiance came in and we performed a wedding here, the only wedding that's been held on Lomity Field. So that was a lot of fun. But it's hard to be away as a 12-year-old, an 11-year-old, and a family from your home uh, for this amount of time. So there's a lot of emotional, spiritual, physical needs that need to be cared for. Definitely. It sounds like it's um, an, a neat way that as an uncle you get to still reach out with your pastoral role. Um, is there anything else that you would like to share? 
There was a time when we were able to offer church services here at Little League because the tournament has doubled and because of some other circumstances, we're not able to do that anymore. And so when people have religious needs or faith needs, like they want to go to church, uh, Little League is really great. The uncles work with them, but we're providing transportation for Saturday night mass or Sunday church in the community. Uh, First United Methodist Church and Pine Street United Methodist Church right here in Williamsport have both been recipients of uncles working hard to get kids to church. And so that's really a place that the United Methodist Church in general can continue to connect with Little League. So. Well, thank you for speaking with us on this very busy day. Um, and if you would like to check out more uh, Susquehanna Express interviews from this Williamsport trip, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express. <laughs>